Um, my name is Crystal Cloud and I teach seventh grade math at Casey Middle School. This is my compacted seventh, eighth grade math class. A lot of our students come into math already feeling a certain way about it, which is sad because they're 11 and 12. It's a good thinking okay, question. As a first year teacher, you're just trying to <laughs> figure out who you are in the room, how to interact with kids, and honestly, for me, it was really challenging. I felt at the time I was being thrown a lot of instructional strategies. Through the training, I found a strategy that I felt I could implement and make my own. I call it structured student math talk. So about 90. I think why is talking and processing important in math? I think having to explain your thinking to somebody takes your what you did on your desk to a new level. What I love about the structure that I have is everybody has a chance to think and write first. I put up a warm-up problem on the board. I play a song and during the song everybody works by themselves, there's no talking. I'm not even allowed to talk. And that four minutes is so hard for them because I'm like, you've got to just you gotta try it yourself. Four minutes where they do the math on their desk and prepare themselves, right, for what they wanna say, what they're gonna talk about, and then they have writing that they can look at. The structure is what's important. Put your marker away. And they need to talk about math because it's its own language. Raise your hand if you're an A. So only A's are talking at a certain time. Okay, B's, raise your hand. Okay, B's, we're gonna platypus our lips. A's, go. We all are relying on each other in here. Nobody comes in here and is by themselves. You may not finish everything, but that's okay, because now it's B's turn and you're really listening. And what does that mean to listen? Like that's another whole conversation is like, what does it mean to actually listen to your partner strategy, not just hear them? With our population here, we have a lot of students who are a couple of grades below grade level. We have a lot of English language learners. They have a voice and they can practice their speaking and they can listen to others and pick up on what others are saying. Every kid that walks in here knows that their voice is important. Just because somebody else does it in a different way, does that mean it's wrong? I'm gonna have you do a gallery walk. I want you to walk around and I want you to look at other people's work. I want you to find one desk that you agree with and I want you to put like a heart on that desk. I love your mistake and this is why, and look how many other people made it. But then I want you to find a desk that you disagree with, okay? I want you to put a question mark on that desk. It's really important for math because even I make mistakes, right? She thought that the $80 fee was per hour and it was actually a set $80 fee. So well, the way I would have done it is put the $80 fee apart from the three hours times X. What kind of mistake would that be? Probably a careless error. Okay. Oh, that's like the main part of my room is like fail and keep going. I can hear the mistakes and they can get that feedback and it's just this constant cycle. And then after we're done with that, I usually have somebody come up to the board and share their thinking. And it could be a mistake, could not be, it depends on the day. Thumbs up if you agree with Sean. Thumbs down if you have a question or a comment. Everybody is risk taking and they feel comfortable. Give them some snacks. Both of you, amazing, awesome job. I owe you gum, remind me. You know, I talk to them about their confidence. Maybe that confidence will grow and say, I can speak in front of 25 other students and it's okay. It's made an enormous difference. I think they love it. Mm -hmm.